So we are here in the studio of Bildungsturm, a cultural and social institution in the heart of Brussels, where we rehearse and we love to be here. We feel very much at home here. Um, there is a super nice atmosphere with the people. We feel like being part of the community here. Uh, we are also in residence um, in this institution and they are um, sponsoring our CD so we want to thank them very warmly for everything they do for us because it's a huge help. There is this nice and precious moments where, when we're in the process of rehearsing, that we can just uh, run our program for people are, that are around here. And basically, for us it's great. You feel also the warmth coming from the people that listen to us. And that's essentially what's so great about being a musician in general. <laughs> For the recording, uh, the single in Antwerp generously offered us their concert hall with the fantastic Steinway. And also there, uh, during the recording days, we foresaw two moments where we played through the program as a live concert for a small audience, just to capture this kind of live energy and uh, yeah, atmosphere, which is completely different than if you would just be recording for a few days in a studio. Awakening is actually a word that evokes many emotions, many thoughts for everyone personally and for us it's kind of the glue that binds these four composers together. Scrabbing is actually a short piece that was written for the piano but uh, sounds equally great I must say in the piano trio arrangement and it's a piece that actually starts from nothing and builds up to a few moments of uh, highly romantic expression but then dies down all of a sudden. How about Suk? Well, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Suk is a new thing for us, I think it's the first Eastern European piece that we played, which is quite a different tradition from, from the German romantic one, it's, it's, it feels very different. Like. It's a less, less known piece that we discovered actually when thinking about planning this CD and it was a very nice discovery actually. <laughs> It's a bit like a short story, it's very visual, you know, there is a lot of things happening very, very quickly, there is a lot of descriptions, I find it's very visually stimulating. is the best word to describe it, unpretentious. Like, <laughs> yeah, it fits perfectly. What exactly is so special about the Schubert, about the Nocturne? It takes a lot of work yeah. to get it right. Yeah, that's, that's, that's for sure, as well. <laughs> What's the big challenge? is the fact that it's on one hand very delicate, but on the other hand it has to feel very natural and you have to just let go and try to make it fly, kind of, as in a lot of music of Schubert. He 
writes also always very long lines that you have to kind of have the big structure in mind, but also pay attention to all the little details. I think that's the main challenge in the, the music of Schubert. <laughs> to tell us about Mendelssohn, what do you like? Well, what I really love about Mendelssohn is a kind of combination of fantastic lyricism and on the other hand this kind of sparkly uh, virtuosity that you can just never get tired from. But also there is a lot of fire in this piece. <laughs> about Mendelssohn in general that his music is always very satisfying to play. There is this, this feeling of just... Everything fits. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the structure is perfect. There is a lot of passion and fire. It's just super fun to play. What's special about playing piano trio as a chamber music form I think we would agree that it's the, the versatility in the instrumentation which makes it really interesting. For example, Alice and I, often we can be really like, in the strings, a reduced string quartet and really try to cultivate that kind of atmosphere and uh, expression. But on the other hand, with the piano, there's also often these kind of passages with really lyrical singing melodies where it's more like a sonata for violin or cello with piano. Or the opposite, where water has the theme and Alice and I are more like kind of string orchestra accompanying a piano concerto. And this really, all these different options give a lot of possibilities and, and that makes it so interesting and um, yeah, gives a lot of freedom in this chamber music. I must say it's a lot of fun to just once in a while to basically be the disturbing factor in the string unity. You know, you actually as the piano you feel that you're kind of on your own but you also have to fight, you have to battle which is always a very exciting thing to do. Mm -hmm. 